Hey, what's going on, people? It's your man, Chris. Um, before I start start off, you know, I gotta give a special shout out to Nikki. Um, with the holidays coming up, I hope things gonna be all right for you. Uh, you're number one in my book. You know, always have been and always will be. So, so once you know that before you even start this. Um, so, all right, the video. Um, yeah, you know, this has really been messing with me. To be honest with you, you know, I, I know I don't have that many. Uh, listeners and stuff like that so maybe I'm just sit doing this video to just get this uh, this is my own type of therapy I'm getting this off my chest or something like that but this stuff is going on with Bill Cosby has me kind of messed up because you know, honestly you know, I admire this dude right and he's getting trashed in the media and and the title of the video is really going to be about do the rights outweigh the wrongs because um with all these accusations and all of this stuff popping up, you, you know, you, you, you'd be a fool to say that some of this stuff can't be true. The thing is, um, alright, let's look at it. Uh, alright, like, like, see how he's getting trashed in media now? Not that long ago, there was a chick named Rachel Norlinger who was getting trashed like that, right? Black woman, I mean, she was getting trashed and basically her being trashed had to do with her dealing with her boyfriend who was an ex-killer, you know, ex-drug dealer. I mean the financial stuff, all the financial stuff that they were coming up on it basically meant that she was living beyond her means, which is what a lot of people do, black and white, and especially in the New York City tri-state area because it's very expensive in this area. So, you know, she's living beyond her means. Some people said she broke, but she wasn't broke. She was a working woman. She was just living beyond her means. But, you know, as all this stuff was going on in the media, all the stuff was coming, all the financial stuff was no big deal because, like I said, she was living beyond her means. But the real thing was, they let's be real, they were after de Blasio to make de Blasio look bad, but this thing with her boyfriend, I'm like, it was obvious that he, he's worth more to her than her job, because he, she pretty much lost the, the best paying job she probably ever had, you know, she chose him him over that, so, so that was crazy to see her drag through the mud like that, because even though, like, I halfway feel sorry for the halfway don't because she made her choice, but it's kind of like to see somebody just dragged through the mud like that, it's, it's just not cool. I mean, you know, yeah, the, her choice in men was not good, but still to see her dragged through the mud like that was not cool. But now as soon as that is over, she's left, you know, she's forced to resign her job. Well, she she took a leave of absence, let's put it this week, and that really was a resignation. But anyway, as soon as that's over, next you know, Bill Cosby's jumping all over the point. You know, all this news, um, you know, the media's jumping all over Bill Cosby. And the thing is, a lot of America knows him as like, you know, the, you know, Dr. Huxable, you know, he's like TV's dad, but, you know, even before then, he was, he was, um, he was doing I'm Black and I'm Proud before James Brown even said it, you know, I mean, he never said I'm Black and I'm Proud, but he was doing stuff that showed education, showed pos positivity, um, you know, a lot of stuff he was doing before the Cosby Show was all about, you know, being black, being proud, being positive. Uh, you know, a lot of people talking about he's talking about pulling pants up. He, he's doing a lot of a lot of really positive, good stuff for black people and minorities in general, way, way back in like the '60s and you know the '60s and '70s and all of that. So you know, he was doing he did Uptown Saturday Night. Um, you know, let's do it again. These are movies, <clears throat> even though they were comedies or you know somewhat dramas, they promoted good good values. Like just about everything he did was about positivity. And now to hear that he was doing all this other stuff. Um, you know, when all this stuff is, when you hear about it, it's kind of sexual deviancy, but, you know, he's been called outright rapist. And the thing is, when you hear about some of these, in fact, most of these things you hear, he was dealing with women who not only did he know, but he more than likely he was going to end up having sex with them anyway. I mean, these women were women who would need a help who, um, generally, if they wanted to him, to him to help, he, they wanted him to help push their careers along, you know, they, you know, so more than likely, you know, those, these women were going to be willing to sleep with him in order for that to happen, and just as an aside from that, all right, um, that happens in a lot of, everywhere in the United States, um, even, especially the worst place it does happen is probably in church, and for any young girl, young woman, listen to me right now, right, let's say you're a nice looking chick, right, you're a nice looking woman, let's say you're in the Beyonce, Rihanna category, you run up in church, you you feeling like you lost, you, you need some help. Quite honestly, 98% of those ministers or whatever the people on that church want to help you, the first thing they look at you, and the first thing that pop in their mind, they picture themselves throwing some dick up in you. I mean, that sounds messed up, 
but that's what they thinking. They thinking, yeah, they can picture you, they can picture you looking up at them with, with with their lips with with your lips wrapped around their, their joint. That's what they thinking. And you know, that, people might be saying that's a messed up thing to say, but that's just just straight up being honest. Because a lot of cats, if you they come in here and you need some help, they don't like that, then that's good. Because that's giving them the opportunity to get in between your legs. That's just straight up and down. Um, like you a good looking chick, you look like Beyonce, Rihanna. You done, dudes probably don't think, oh, you done been ran through by the, by the athletes. You probably done been ran through by the drug dealers. You got problems. They, they ain't thinking about solving your problems. They think about, you know, they they gonna make they gonna think about how you gonna help them with their sexual problems. Most of them probably married and got women already other women, but you know you're gonna like just like you you're gonna be a trophy on the shelf, just like you the trophy to the athlete or the trophy to the drug dealer. You're gonna be their trophy. So any young woman who's listening to my voice, like think that you have to be aware of that. You know, even though these people um, they might act like they're trying to help you, they also trying to help themselves. So. You have to be conscious of that. Um, I'm not saying that these people won't help you, but even even in a situation where a church where these people are supposed to be pious and all of that, they're, they're not. They're just men. So, you know, that's the reason why a lot of dudes like me are not in the church. You know, cause you already know, I already know how other men think. <laughs> I'm a man, so I already know how other men think. So, you know, you can't run that game on me. You know, I already know you man just like me. So, you know, there's very people who are really holy, holy. You know, like, like I said, that's a 98%, not 100%. So you do have the 2%, but... You know, it's hard to tell, you know, the, the, the you know, who, who's re really real about it or not. But anyway, back to Cosby, you know, uh, this thing with Cosby, when you hear about the stuff, you think he was just some geek who couldn't get girls back in the day. Maybe he just went crazy now that he got himself a little popularity. But the thing is, from what I understand, he was playing basketball and football. I mean, he was playing team sports and, you know, he I think he played um, college football and everything. So... Generally, chicks who, you know, they'll, they'll be throwing it, throw it at guys who are, like, part of, the, you know, the athletic team. So, you know, the only thing I can figure out is maybe he's just, like, I hate to say it, but maybe he's just a sexual freak. And he was just, like, he, he knows that when women need help, you can string them along and they'll give you sex and stuff. But maybe just figures out it's going to take too long. He decides he's going to drug these chicks and just take it right away. Or maybe that he really gets off on, like, having sex with unconscious or semi-conscious women you know i don't know maybe he's just some kind of sexual freak but the outright rapist thing is kind of it makes it sound like he's jumping out of the bush on some unsuspecting woman and just like you know you know taking her against the will like that and and i mean if you listen to a lot of these stories some of these women they they wind up did having sexual you know sex with him later on they, it, it wasn't just the one incident but but the thing is the title of this video is going to be um you know, it's about, you know, he, to me, he's done a lot of good. He's, he's pushed positivity. You know, he, people are canceling his show, but the fact is the show is like, you know, it's not a real show. So, I mean, they're not real people, but it, but it does push positive images. It, 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 you know, if you want to be a father or family or anything, you can watch that show. You can learn some things from it. So, um, you have to ask in a situation like his, does the good out, good, the good that he's done outweigh the bad? I mean, you know, raping women is a messed up thing, no matter which way you looked at it. So do you excuse? I mean, like I said, the rapes weren't even like to me. I mean, I think most of the rapes are generally by people that uh, when women get raped, they're raped by people that they know anyway. So, so do you excuse a rape because he's done a great deal of good over here and there? Or, I mean, I can't really. It's confusing to me. I, I don't really know what to say about it. I can't. It's hard for me to look at him as like. A really, really jacked up dude. But, you know, I guess, you know, I've been admiring him and stuff all my life. You know, he was like a... To me, he would, would be a good role model, but not with this stuff coming out. But, you know, you just have to kind of wonder. I mean, when you look at the Cosby Show, as great as the Cosby Show was, the fact is, as far as for black, black families, let's be real, the families that people look up to most are really the families you see from the wire, the Boxdales, the Stringer Bell families, and stuff like that. Unfortunately... The way black people are nowadays, we look at them as like, yo, those are the heroes, you know, you know, he Fliss Huxtable is not the type of person they want to be. They want to be like, you know, the Avon Boxdales and, you know, the String of Bells, you know, the women want to be with men like Avon Oscar, you know, with, with the drug dealers and stuff, you know, stuff like that. So that's how things really are in the black community. But the Cosby Show is good for families of any color um, to watch, not just black people, but like I said, it, it, it leaves me wondering, um, 
you know, does all the good to, to me that he's done outweigh all the bad that he did, even though, uh, I don't know, I mean, you know, it's, I don't have a real answer to that question, to be honest with you, um, because it's like saying the women that he did this stuff to aren't important, but like I said, some of those women, they even wound it up still having relations with him anyway, so, and maybe he's just a sexual deviant who needed help and nobody was willing to help. I mean, it makes you kind of think the Michael Jackson thing like he needed help, but, you know, everybody was just like, hey, they wanted to get a piece of that money, so if they told him he needed help, he, you know, they were going to be out the door and they weren't going to be have any money to be part of that life, so, I don't know, um, it's a situation, I guess, his friends and stuff, maybe some people knew it and they just didn't, like, you know, they couldn't tell them, bring themselves to tell them, like, yo, you know, you have to chill with that shit, man, uh, I mean, because you don't, you really don't have to do that, you know, those women would have, like I said, most of those women who were coming forward, they would eventually wound up having sex with him anyway, maybe he just didn't want to wait, I don't know what it is, but all the stuff's disturbing and, you know, it makes me feel bad to see, you know, he's kind of like an icon to me, you know to to be um can't really say he's being smeared because if he really did that stuff he does deserve i don't know maybe this is his comeuppance maybe he really did that stuff and even though he didn't do any jail time any of that stuff maybe this is uh maybe this is how he, he pays for it maybe this is god's way of saying he, he this is way of making him see that he pays for um the messed up stuff that he did back um during his lifetime anyway um that's just my thoughts on the top, you know, you can leave comments, um, your own views if you want, um, anyway, thanks for listening, people, peace.